once you get into the business hmm. and once you are a part of the system hmm. whatever it is hmm. whatsoever it is that is when you try to understand that there is a scope hmm. and it happens with every business Hi everyone welcome to the show uh, hey day presents the business stories here we are in a very cozy atmosphere of amrutara uh, we are here to talk to a very interesting and a comfortable talker and a very inspirational figure welcome sir welcome to the show thank you rahul thank you so much yes. it's a privilege and an honor uh, to you uh, for uh, the selecting me into this uh, as well you put it across as the first podcast yes, right it. thank you it's i mean nothing beyond this as such i mean uh, it just uh, feels great you know We are honored to have you. Thank actually. you so much. Let's start with the conversation. Yes, please. And uh, let's begin with the beginnings. Correct. Uh, so uh, there is actually a very less or none to say about your schooling and your, about your childhood. So tell us where did you complete your schooling and how was it growing up? I basically uh, my uh, <coughs> primary schooling happened in Karwar. Okay. I studied uh, till seventh standard in Karwar. and after that uh, my mom uh, she switched over from karwar to dharwad uh, for her phd mm. and uh, there was a, a thought process or a kind of a mindset that uh, dharwad has a better of education uh, mm. facilities than karwar mm. so all the um, anger boys in the house mm. whoever were there mm. my cousins me and all of them mm. we studied in dharwad That's so beyond 7th standard uh, uh i and i mean whatever we all studied in dharwad k board school and then uh, once again for puc 1 and 2 uh, i had to come back to karwar in the meanwhile my my mom decided that uh, uh, rather than going ahead with any of the other uh, courses courses uh she was of an opi- ha- very very uh, strong opinion that uh, this practical courses like diploma hmm. Hmm. Uh, would do a lot of uh, knowledge framing on to a student or um, a, a person yes. so she uh, wanted me to uh, necessarily do diploma first hmm. so i had to again switch over from karwar to dharwad yes. uh, so during those days uh, i did my dip- diploma in automobile engineering hmm. and automobile uh, uh, diploma had a criteria of uh, uh, the eligibility towards 18 years hmm. yes so till i was 18 years hmm. i did my uh, puc 1 and 2 year and Dhar- again i had to switch over and i got a seat in a very good college called okay. as kabur in dharwad okay okay uh, once i finished my uh, diploma uh, that was 3 years hmm. then there was that phase of lateral entry okay uh, for the engineering engineering yes. so you have an 1 uh, years uh, waiver yeah. of that is given yeah, yeah. Uh, so similarly i joined hmm. uh, the gokte institute of technology belgam belgam and that was uh, the uh, engineering engineering yeah so engineering uh, phase was not uh, hmm. very uh, smooth running because my morale was down uh, when hmm. i was doing my uh, engineering because i wanted a seat with uh, uh, sdm uh, mechanical okay, so okay. that uh, my, uh, you know thought of uh, me not able to get a get seat that. yeah in dharwad hmm. uh, was not you know getting over me yes so the engineering uh, went to a little rough phase mm. after that mm. uh, after my engineering mm. 10 years from there i realized that uh, my inclination was little towards uh, reading a little of philosophy history mm. literature so literature. i did my ma english literature after that mm-hmm. 10 years from there and I, ma english literature those two years of my lifetime mm. was one amazing time in my life span so as far as i uh, know after the ma literature there are very few people who come into the business world so uh, no uh, let me uh, <coughs> once again get into it yes. <coughs> once after my engineering i got into the business acha yeah as immediately okay. after the engineering uh, because huh. my grandfather and my uncles kind of my mom mm-hmm. also was not very sure whether with the kind of a marks that i had scored with the engineering mm-hmm. i mean the b uh it was uh, not possible for me to get into a very good job yes. we i i literally tried okay not that i did not try but there were uh, um cases where they were asking me for 3 uh, years of bond uh, all of those things and mm-hmm. the uh, job was on the work floor mm-hmm. machine shop kind yeah, of a job yeah. and all of that which was not very fascinating mm-hmm. for me as such so that is when uh, mm-hmm. i got into the business that was around about 2001 mm-hmm. and one thing which uh, intrigues me about you is 
uh, the kind of influence, the legacy which your family had Correct. already here. And do you feel somewhere like uh, it was necessary for you to get into business or you were very uh, like spontaneously with the flow you got into the business? <clears throat> what happens is uh, whenever a kid hmm. is connected to a business family hmm. or if a kid is um, connected to um, a family uh, background with a lot of... Uh, um, educational, uh, whatever, hmm. background as such, maybe uh, quote an example yes. as an IS officers, kids yeah, and all of them. Yeah, yeah. There is something called as insight learning. Yes. The kids look continuously that process of the business yeah, yeah. is getting into, like for example, hmm. the actors' kids generally hmm. end up becoming actors because they have already learnt it from inside. Yes, yes. And that is there inside them. Hmm. For some reason, a human brain tries to gather it and he thinks that at some given point of time he can do it better than his father or he can do it better than his parents. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason he thinks that he's already learnt it because that is the confidence inside him which rather puts it across to him that yes, you yes. have understood it. So probably that makes you get into the business. Yes. And uh, when you were starting, uh, starting into the business world, were you like uh, uh, to build the industry like a hotel we have to get into the industry or were you thinking about getting into other fields also because right now you are into multiple fields but when you are beginning was your aim to get into one field or you are already planning for the multiple fields okay uh, what happened was when uh, that i believe that was 2001 okay and uh, every possible possible businesses hmm. those were there always had a big scope Maybe uh, when I got into the business, hmm. 2001, no many restaurants were around. Very true. few restaurants. True. So me getting into the business and then the growth of the business, there are two different, uh, hmm. uh, we can explain it in two different patterns. Yes. So me getting into the business was just uh, to stick to one particular hmm. profession or a kind of an uh, uh, I as we say yeah. that basically. Yeah. So I wanted hmm. to get into... Uh, livelihood. Uh, livelihood. Yes. That's the uh, basic uh, understanding hmm. when, once a person is getting into the business. Yes. Once you get into the business hmm. and once you are a part of the system, hmm. whatever it is, hmm. whatsoever it is, hmm. that is when you try to understand that there is a scope hmm. and it happens with every business, not yes. only this business. True. So coming back to what you have hmm. asked me, we had a lot of scope for development at that time. Hmm. So my uncles, everybody were into the business hmm. and they had already got it to one particular level. Yeah. Fine tuning it, hmm. trying to brush it, try to make it look a little good. Yes. You know, yes. physically from outside. Hmm. 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 So that is where I kind of came into the picture hmm. with the support of my entire family. Hmm. Hmm. So they realized, ki, yes, this is possible. Hmm. And they supported me and I was the um, front runner in a way I was the face yes, yes. so I could take that on a little well hmm. so that happened and uh, with, see these hmm. businesses and all are always man management true, true, true. nothing beyond man management hmm. everything that you call it as a development hmm. scope anything you alone cannot do it hmm. you have to have people yes. you have to have a team you have to have your own people, yes. you have, have external factors, you got internal factors. Hmm. Every factors that you speak about hmm. is including the manpower at any given point of time. True, true. So slowly hmm. and steadily, hmm. um, the gaps were tapped. Huh. It's called as the tap, tapping yes, the gap. Yes. It just went up. Basically. So do, do you think right now when uh, most of the business leaders' sons or uh, daughters, they mostly do MBA and get into their family businesses. Do you think it's very important to uh, young generation to, as you said, tapping that gaps? Is it very important for the young generations to come in or uh, is it like a, some, something that a current entrepreneur can do it or does he need somebody young to do that? Okay, uh, it is very, very important that mm. the uh, kids of mm. that particular, I mean, the, yes. uh, they, it's okay, I mean, mm. if they get into the business, but mm. it is necessary that they mm. have to take an experience mm. towards understanding mm. 
the other business so that mm. yeah but what happens is they do not or else they immediately if they get into the business what happens mm. is there is a very comfortable atmosphere true mm. if i get mm. into my dad's business mm. everyone will be probably uh, you mm. know referring to me as sir yes. or i have that you know comfort zone as it is yes uh, he can never get into the shoes of the um, you know people Actually, who are already yeah. there working yes. they, and even he cannot get into his dad's shoes mm. to understand mm. what is the kind of a mm. struggle mm. that his father has gone through yeah. and the kind of a struggle to hold mm. the entire system mm. he would never understand yeah, it yeah. so unless and until you would go somewhere get into the similar similar kind of a situation mm-hmm. and then get into the mm. dads or the family business that is my suggestion yeah. unless and until that happens mm. because it will rather from there if he directly comes into the business mm. he will never understand the uh, system or the yes. basics of the system mm-hmm. it's it's something like pin uh-huh. to elephant direct you know, the kind of uh, mm-hmm. requirement that is required no mm-hmm. that pin to when i say pin to elephant there are mm-hmm. so many process and so many procedures yes somewhere as in you know if you mm-hmm. generally uh, ask a small boy mm-hmm. to frame sentences without even uh, mm-hmm. you know knowing the alphabets Hmm. it will be it's you know some kind thing. of a mess it will be yes. so it's better he gets into hmm. some kind of an uh, see when i say huh. uh, understanding or knowledge or hmm. education not necessarily means that the qualification yes hmm. so he has to do mba and necessarily then he has to come into it. hmm. it's, it's 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 not that way if he gets into a system a different hmm. kind of a business which is similar like that of what he wants into get into hmm. Hmm. understand the whole process for example if i can give you an example of the hotel we yeah. got some any average hotel yeah. would have one five or six departments true there's a front office yes. there's a restaurant yes. there's a store hmm. there's housekeeping hmm. all these departments are there hmm. so all these departments have to be touched upon hmm. if he directly comes and would sit, yes. sit into the finance you not understand anything true, true why is it that he is getting that kind of finance mm. why is it that the money is getting getting into the system mm-hmm. what is that requirement for that money to come into the system you will never understand it hey i know you are very much into the podcast and very interesting topic is going on but i am just here to introduce you to the consultation program of hede marketing we consult business owners and also content creators to elevate their brand so if you are interested here is our social just contact us there and you will be connected thank you now go back to so far it's been great uh, so what we did was uh, after the uh, you agreed to do this i went back home i did a google form huh. and published it huh. okay for the public okay. and most of the students have replied to huh. it huh. and uh, we'll go through one one and uh, you try uh, try to answer with your perspective sure i'll ask the questions first mm. of all uh, best wishes and congratulations to the kids that yeah, they, yeah. it shows that they are interested yes unless and until there is an interest nothing mm. will happen yeah, yeah and sorry if anybody's questions are not included here there were many questions and we have shortlisted some of them and uh, to uh, people who have sent the questions and not read here don't feel bad we have upcoming sessions and you can send your questions there so let's get into yes, this question yes, yes, yes. yes. swarup talegar from bangalore ask you this asks you this ha, question ha. do you think the fact that many businesses whether franchises or startups that begin in karwar struggled to sustain in the market causing fear amongst entrepreneurs to take steps is it a bad sign no 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 that's a very beautiful question you and hmm. i have observed that hmm. but the understanding about this is hmm. when you see something from outside mm. only the glamour is seen true but the kind of an effort the kind mm. of an upmanship that has to go behind it it never comes into anybody's brain true it just does not appear so yes. there is a big gap between that glamour mm. and that mm. hard work true. true true so when i or mm. you mm. or anybody who are into the particular system mm. we see if you, if you ask me hmm. uh, i want to construct and put up a hotel or a restaurant hmm. because i am into the system hmm. and i know the kind of an hard work what hmm. all is needed the kind of an advantage this or that i would first think about that true and then think about the glamour of the business hmm. which comes quite much 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 later later yes but for people who hmm. sometimes think that the franchises and all could be hmm. run remotely mm mm-hmm. 
you know and in a part time format that is not possible rahul it's impossible true it's not possible at all uh, tell me one thing hmm. you have taken up a course let us consider that you have taken up a course engineering bba hmm. bcom ba whatever it is hmm. is it possible for you to sit down hmm. at home without attending the lectures and then pass the examination no Now, how will it be possible yes. in the business True, true, true. You have to go through you a process. You have to be there, man, yes. inside out, day in, day out. Mm. You know what I generally tell people? Mm. It's not the money that is to be invested on the business. Mm. It is the experience in the form of time. Yeah. And time is not one hour, two hours, three hours. Ages. Ages. Thirty years, forty years, fifty. You've seen my uncle, London mm. uncle, still goes mm. to the market. He's seventy-two, seventy-three. Mm. Tries to pick the fish, fresh fish. daily and gets it into the restaurant wow. if there is no fresh fish that comes into the uh, uh, kitchen yeah <laughs> what will you serve your people who are coming in how much ever attention i may give to them or how much ever uh, welcoming uh, gestures i have hmm. it's impossible my cousin uh, navneet he is there in the kitchen to take care of the taste probably hmm. the raw material that is come in hmm. if it is around get converted from what it is into a hmm. tasty food Yes, and then it's me. Hmm. If you see me, it will look like a glamour. Oh hmm. wow, he is doing. Uh, he goes. He talks to people. He is there. Hmm. He you know drives a car. He wears a good shirt. He hmm. wears a good trouser. He wears a good shoe and wristwatch. That's yeah. what is being seen. Yeah, yeah, true. Is that the gap? The gap? What gap hmm. exists? Right. Yes. So that is why the franchises and the other things fail. Yeah, Before. Yeah. seeing the glamour you have to see the hardship, system yeah. that gets into it hardship is there anywhere hmm. any which way it is there hmm. but the kind of an hmm. involvement that he has to put into it that has to be fixed hmm. i will be at the premises 24 by 7 i am available to the clients or the guests 24 7 that is how it has to be hmm. are you I, getting it yes I think you also got it, Soru. And uh, let's move on to the next question. So, so one more, one more thing I would want to refer to Mr. Swaroop is, hmm. whenever there comes a franchise, it's not that the franchisee will fail. The hmm. working pattern fails always. Yes. Franchises will work, definitely work. Hmm. The businesses never fail if you know hmm. whatever one, point that I put in it. So the, the Anurag Mazadigar from hmm. Karwar only hmm. is asking why is Karwar having mostly retail oriented businesses? Why aren't people focusing more on tra- travels and tourism rather than the hospitality? Okay, first of all, let me uh, what's hmm. his name? Anurag. Anurag, let me tell you one thing. A tourist. I mean, uh-huh. when you say t- tourists or tourism yeah. or hotels yeah. or restaurants, they are mm. referred to as mm. hyper retailing businesses. This is referring to as the retail business. The retail business. But we are one notch above that business. Hyper. Hyper retail. I'll explain mm. to you what is the meaning of no, hyper please. retail. You go to a shop, mm. which is a retail outlet. Maybe you consider it as a mall or any oh. of the shop that are there in Karwar since ages. You oh. go there. Mm. you buy a product whatever it may be mm. whatever whatsoever it is mm. you go you purchase the product you mm. pay the money you come back home yes. that that is retail yes correct mm. but in a restaurant mm. or in a hotel mm. where the tourism thing comes in mm. from the time the customer or the guest or the client walks in mm. till he finishes his entire process of so called as food at yes. the restaurant till he would wash his hands ha and till you would pay the bill and go Hmm. Out of the restaurant happily. Yeah. The entire process has to be continuously observed. Hmm. Hmm. And that observation of continuously, so continuously observing that that particular format or that process is hyper retailing. Hyper retailing. Beyond retailing, because okay. he is not just buying the food and he walks away. No. Hmm. He will sit down there. We have to provide him chairs. We have to provide him the ambience. We have to provide him the AC. We have to provide him the the clean plates. Hmm. The minute the one spoon is being used, it has to be washed. There's a side plate that is given. Sure. It goes hmm. into the you know washing area. Gets washed. Hmm. A lot of people who are in that particular process. So what I understand is uh, the uh, first question business. of. he is is uh, we are into the retail hyper retailing uh, why so, is carver having mostly retail oriented businesses 
That's what uh-huh. we are. Uh, he is asking, but we uh, what I am trying to tell him is that hmm. we are not only into retail, retail we are hyper. into hyper retailing. Yes. So we should be proud about it. True. Retail can be done anywhere. Yeah, yeah. No businesses are good, bad, ugly, and you know more tougher and less tougher or less. Uh, every business is let us consider, but hmm. we should be happy that as Carvar, hmm. we are more retail. Hmm oriented than any of the other business we are better in mm. a way so when we are better that means retail could be as it is yeah do it no we, we will be good at it yes and what is the second question uh, second question was why and people focusing more on travels aimed tourism rather than just hospitality i think this question is very contradictory yeah because hospitality yeah. is again uh, travel. travel only yeah. it's a part of the travel yes uh, when, the, when there are people who are uh, traveling yeah. when the people from mangalore bangalore want to travel towards mm-hmm. goa mm-hmm. but what i can guess from what he is trying to tell is why mm-hmm. is it not growing as a tourist mm-hmm. destination if he is saying yes. so then it is a little bit of a government's effort to try and uh, locate Karwar as a tourist destination and mm. promote it. Mm. We lose a lot of business to, I, I last time also I had put it across in one mm. of the podcasts that uh, we lose a lot of, I, I spoke there with the data, mm-hmm. we lose a lot of business to Dandeli, we lo- lose a lot of business to Goa. So True. for any hotel mm. to sustain in a very good format, mm. a three days and two nights package, mm. that is minimum. Mm. But Whenever a tra- traveller walks into Karwar with the idea of three days package, mm. he wants to go to Goa one day, mm. one day he wants to go to Dandeli mm. and the rest of the time which is yeah. minimalistic, he wants to spend it in Karwar. So we tend to lose a lot of business that way. And mm. people who come to Goa for three days or whatever, they are all, almost most of the three days is spent there. Yes. So that is the difference. difference. So for that we need good policies. We need people like him to get into the business. Yes. <laughs> Surely I hope you get into the business, Anurag. Yeah. Yeah. And they have uh, to make efforts towards it. Yes. Every one of us. Next question. Your Deepak Ravenkar from Bangalore. Nice. Asks you, how to stay consistent? That's a beautiful <laughs> question. I mean, it's an amazing question actually. <laughs> There's a big research and a study, yeah. Deepak, no? Deepak, yes. Uh, which I recently, I mean, I generally love going through the researches and mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. Recently, there was a study that was done, and I love quoting this research. Mm-hmm. A person mm-hmm. has shortlisted 700 mm-hmm. factors okay. in a restaurant business. Okay. How many? 700. 700 factors in mm-hmm. a restaurant business, as in for a client okay. to be a repeat client. Okay. 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 For a client to be a repeat clienter uh-huh. or for a business to run in a stabilized, stabilized format. Yeah. In that, he has even considered a point about what is being consistent. Hmm. When can we call a customer or a guest or a client a consistent client? Hmm. So he's taken a database hmm. Hmm. where he says a client will come to you hmm. on day one. Yes. Then he would probably repeat is hmm. whatever average after three months hmm. after that you would again again probably come after one year or one and a half year so okay. that's what he says okay so if he huh. is satisfied huh. when he comes after one and a half year hmm. that client or that uh, hmm. guest of yours will become your permanent guest hmm. so what he is trying to tell is from the day one hmm. till that one and a half years of time gap hmm. he may have a, uh, come come maybe yes. one or two times but yes. probably would have put it across to someone else yes. then he would have had come to us and he hmm. would have given him a feedback saying that this is good all those things also hmm. matter a lot in the restaurant business so i again coming back to the 700 hmm. no, factors, factors that he shortlisted hmm. from a client walking in to hmm. the restaurant till he likes the ambience sometimes hmm. he does hmm. not like the ambience he says hmm. where have you got me Hmm. So next he would go and sit down on the table, he probably may like the table or may not like the table. Hmm. Now there is a food. When hmm. the food comes on to his table, then there is an, uh, uh, for, um, you know, uh, 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 a format in which it comes. Maybe the soup hmm. would come first, yes. then the small eat would come next and then the, uh, the courses. main courses would hmm. come. So first if he likes the preparation, hmm. the one which comes first and then the last one, if he probably does not like, he may not like the food at all. Are you getting it? Hmm. He may not like the food at all. Hmm. And 
reverse in a reverse way mm. first probably does not like the small dip that comes onto that plate then slowly the last preparation that he has is like mind blowing mm. then he may like yes. the preparation so all these factors they matter and for his mm. question specifically coming mm. to his question, consistency is the only thing mm. that can give you a business if you see a business which survives mm. more than 3 years it means that it is consistent business yes. and that business will go on for ages necessarily 3 years because he needs that much of time for a, a clientele to come back to him again and again again and again 3 years for that there are so many factors that i put it across as a restaurant industry for any of the industries maybe if he has got a shop hmm. then probably uh, uh, the kind of a way that he is dealing with him because the same product is available in 10 hmm. other shops yeah so why he has to come to you because that feel that yes. comfort as you said coziness yeah, that coziness. coziness feeling he has to Provide. give it to him no yeah. that particular client true so if that happens then that is how the consistency could be maintained mm. a lot of factors a mm. lot of factors but in short whatever i put it yeah. just i i hope anupama from karwar oh. asks you mm. Okay, this, uh, this actually, actually this question is mainly her personal question. Okay. It's okay. Uh, so she asks, how do I introduce myself in an interview? I hope you are attending interview. interviews. Okay, I, uh, as we are Indians, hmm. we generally have that particular uh, uh, hmm. theory uh, which says that Atiti Devo Bhava. Yes. So when she is in an interview, hmm. Hmm. necessarily hmm. for her. the rest of the world is an atithi only then okay. correct okay yeah. so whenever if she does this mm. a little of this that's like gives a very good gesture yeah. basically yeah. so so this gives mm. a super gesture to anybody mm. anupama no yes anupama yeah, anupama can i mean whenever she is there mm. and if there is a rahul like anupama can say namaste rahul over yes that is the best gesture ever mm-hmm. i mean i have not seen any better gesture because in the mm. restaurant anybody would come we do this yes. and that's it it just that it it takes that entire ego of you being an mm. owner entire of entire ego of you being anybody yes. is gone there completely yeah, yeah. so that humbleness whenever that that humbleness is there mm-hmm. uh, the introduction happens in a very good way easily yes. very very easy yes. and for that for you to understand what mm. is humbleness mm. you have to be a little spiritual in your aspect mm-hmm. basically pranita from mm. bangalore okay asks you what changes have you made to your business strategy over the past few years considering the competition you have with recent new restaurants thank you for asking this question because yes. we face this uh, hmm. uh, competition on daily basis true it's not that it's it's once once and hmm. all once and for all it's over mm-hmm. because we are there existing in the business hmm. with the other people who are there around us hmm. it's a first and the foremost thing that that, that itself says that hmm. we are holding on to the competition in a very strong form strong, yes for you hmm. for let me let me let me put it across um, hmm. how the systems keep changing hmm. when the business maybe it was you know hmm. 20 or 30 35 years hmm. ago hmm. Uh, there was absolutely no support, support of yes. these uh, computerized and computerized okay, okay. okay yeah so there a lot of mani- manual input yes. was required hmm. to see to it that there was very little pilferage hmm hmm so we used to think that sitting on to the counter yes and collecting the money hmm. from the guest or from the client hmm. wa- was the ultimate, ultimate hmm. system towards curbing the hmm. pilferages yes pilferages as in the kind of an uh-huh. pocketing system that yes. it might happen yes. over a period of time hmm. when that particular area hmm. of us got into a easy mode because we had lot of systems that was that was put into the pit mm-hmm. because when i for this is my my mm. my topic because okay. i always uh, try to understand in mm. any business mm. first and the foremost ki where are the pilferages mm. when you are not running behind the pilferages your brain has got a lot of space towards for you to contribute it into the other side mm. the growth pattern happens in a very nice way when you try to hmm. set right all these things so any of the business any of the business that have grown from very being very basic to hmm. whatever it is today we were hmm. uh, near 80 hmm. seating restaurant okay uh, once upon a time okay. and today we are 500 seating 
wow. one of the biggest restaurant mm. so that was one thing that we tried to put into the uh, business mm. uh, uh, format mm. where we tried to locate our mm. clients mm. so we did not put all the clients in one category yes there are you know different clients different requirements different mm. kind of an mindset sometimes there are uh, people who want to have a quick bite mm. and then go i have that kind of a space also at amrut ha huh, yes yeah and then there is one particular section where mm. you come with your family spend in a lot of mm. time sit down comfortably then there you have some very good uh, uh, yes. service people give to you yes. whatever kind of a service that you feel is yes. good for you yes. so you want that kind of a space and an environment was created mm. so in a way i mean i proudly say that mm. you want a person who would ride a bicycle mm-hmm. can come to amrut have a good meal and go and even a person mm-hmm. who drives a mercedes benz or a my back yeah. could come or will come to amrut yes. have a food comfortable and go. so we try to keep the business mm-hmm. in a mediocre format or anyone can gel into it mm-hmm. so that is what we try to do and that is how we grew over a period of time and then slowly we understood that we need uh, mm. uh, rooms because mm. being into the uh, hotel or a restaurant kind of a business yeah. what we try to do is try mm. to get ourselves uh, mm. involved with the people mm. so much so that we understood mm. what is the requirement or the criteria so that is the reason we could come up with the rooms mm. you know 53 rooms yes uh, and that's that was a value addition so that is how slowly we it's a very big topic yeah like a very vast topic actually very very vast uh, sorry yes. big, not big if, very vast if possible topic. next time if we, we will, do the we same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can you know simply talk on this yes uh, but in a nutshell hmm. yes i mean uh, you unless and until you are involved in the business is not possible yeah. yes uh, chetan rao from karwar asks you this question these days no youth have courage to have a startup in a city like karwar which is a kashmir of karnataka everybody seeks to go to either engineering or mbbs my question is what is a suggestion for youth from where they can get motivated to start growing our city karwar i have mentioned these uh, hmm. you know points many many times with the kind of uh, hmm. a kind of uh, meetings or conclaves hmm. uh, or the workshop that uh, i have been attending to the best of the hospitality workshop yes coming uh, to his first point mm. why is it that they don't have the courage mm. for starting uh, anything in karwar mm. the answer lies in his question itself why is it that they don't have any courage hmm why why <laughs> yeah if any is asking the question he is understanding it yes that there are no that, that courageous is, people no no that, that there is huh. there is no confidence that this place is giving to him yes why because he is not here probably mm. he is somewhere else mm. so every one of us have to be in town for that the yes maybe he is i'm sure he isn't here he was in uh, dharwad i guess okay so now when he is in dharwad mm. has he ever thought that he would want to come here or has he mm. has his parents mm. so for that our own ecosystem has to support us True. ecosystem as in our parents our yes. friends so the first thing is like why is it that you will be coming to karwar karwar mm. ana kare karwara ki tasa yeah i have heard that so, statement so the minute that will go no yeah. uh, automatically the courage and mm-hmm. confidence will uh, get in all those mm-hmm. type of uh, courage and courage and all but not that mm-hmm. we are here only no yeah yeah yes where are we as amrut we are here yes. amrut aura we are here yes. amrut jewelers we are here amrut delight is the new um, outlet mm-hmm. that manufacturing yes. unit we have yeah. where are we here in linkar we have the courage yes. that means so why does it the other people don't have the courage mm-hmm. we'll wind up this session with uh, rohan kudalkar mm-hmm. from mangalore he is asking this mm-hmm. if any new entrepreneur show up in karwar ha huh. will they get support from personalities like you absolutely okay absolutely i uh, first of all i'm not in personality so i would just want to make another point very clear huh. these these podcast i mean what i feel why i instantly say yes to these type of podcast is hmm. for this reason yeah. i the whole idea of me coming hmm. here is not for me to become popular hmm. if any if i can you know uh, convince or if i can hmm. influence few of these guys hmm. to an extent where they hmm. would even think about coming here maybe hmm. in the near about future they might come yes so this is not for you and me to be, i mean true when you came hmm. with the idea of the podcast hmm. what was the whole idea it was to reach out reach to them. out to the people it's yes. not for us to get popular no yes so definitely yes. So we are here for you hmm. and i mean 
if 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 these brains if mm. they come and talk to me and if mm. we can interact we can have special sessions mm. you know people mm. like there are a lot of other people who understand the businesses yes. from inside very well mm. why not i mean you yeah, can just yeah. put all the businesses across to them mm. and they can choose it and then we can you know guide them accordingly basically so for me it's almost 24 years into the business now mm. i'm 47 years old so of course i mean i'll be the happiest person to be one amongst the okay. one to yes. basically oh, and okay. with this i will take an opportunity to tell mm. you that i'm connected to a lot of business colleges mm -hmm. not only in karnataka or karwar but mm. the rest of the india mm -hmm. uh, where i am uh, directly associated with colleges like bimtech birla institute of management technologies yes. rv college uh, of architecture um, all of these colleges no we can connect to we can get the uh, speakers mm. and all of them from there and so here uh, preetish rane from mumbai mm. is asking this how can the spirit of entrepreneurship be Im embedded in youth of karwar we when realities of business are so challenging with risk being financial reputational social and purely market driven appreciation mm. is one tool mm. that can be used mm. appreciation as in if you maybe if you come up with a business and it fails mm. for some reason let us consider mm. there are many factors that a business might fail mm. we do the sort analysis initially yes. uh, strength weaknesses opportunity mm. threat and all of that mm. with the sort analysis if you go but still there are chances that it might fail not that you know because again as i said external factor internal factors a lot of yes. things a tool of appreciation huh. is one major tool Rahul, that could be used. Yes. Suppose the business is hmm. stalled or it is stopped, say. Hmm. But still, we can get some good point. Like, okay, fine, you did this good. You hmm. did this right. Hmm. You you were right at this given point of time, hmm. and you are a little wrong here. So that hmm. kind of an support system can elevate a person's morale, hmm. Hmm. and he can definitely get into doing it better. Or if no, hmm. he can even see it's a chain. So it does not stop there. Yes. He might go and tell it to someone else. Mm. That guy might go and somewhere it might work. True. So if every the entire system, the ecosystem, mm. the entire system gets into doing this, there are chances that more entrepreneurs might emerge from yes. the system. We'll get into the tourism aspect of Karwa. Correct. As you were very involved with the tourism aspect so far, and uh, what my question to you is, mm -hmm. we talk about the. Uh, factor that there are no tourism uh, activities happening or there are no tourism uh, oriented business coming in but how much does the governance become the reason for this is there any hands of governance into this or it's completely on the business what is a governance i mean why is it first of all a governance hmm. let us get into that hmm. uh, fundamentals okay. it is governance because hmm. there are people around it true so the governance always operates like mm. how the people want it to operate mm -hmm. i mean is that clear yes yes, yes. so unless and until the people around about mm. have that you know acumen towards some kind of an mm. governance that they want the mm. gover governance also will mm. operate in a similar format right yata raja tata praja yes yata praja tata raja that is also there yeah. like the kind of a praja yes. the kind of a governance So it's again a chain, and mm. it also becomes vicious at times, basically. Mm -hmm. So unless and until people are not sure what they want here, mm. the governance will not yes. fall into. People should be confirm, mm. confined, sure, hundred percent. Look, sir, mm. sir, as in the for the governance. Governance, I'm yes. Talking, with due respect. Yes. Sir, mm. we want this here. Please mm. get it for us. Hmm. Hmm. Who? How many? Who all have done that? True. As an youngsters, have you done it? Have Have you done it? Have you done it? Mm. Have you done it? No one is done. Yes. Come, hundred, hundred, two hundred people, sir. Get us this particular hotel management mm. university or one of the best hotel management colleges mm. in Karwar, which mm. is the best in India mm. or best in the world. Isn't it possible for the governance yeah. to get it or the whatever to get it, the authority to get yes. it? It has the entire power in mm. its hand. No, he can get it or she can get it. we are not sure hmm. what we want yes. we want to uh, literally uh, hmm. finish uh, uh, some kind of an course and hmm. get into a, some kind of a job yes. and earn a, some kind of a stipulated uh, 
amount for us and we think that is it. Mm. Mm. So the minute we come out of that mindset and we are sure, ki, mm. yes sir, please get it for us, they will get it. So mm. we cannot directly blame the uh, mm. governance is what I mean. Yeah. Continuing with that uh, same answer you gave, uh, if, if the public is not sure about it, what are the steps we can take to make the public uh, yeah. aware and... Yes, yeah. we need good leaders for that. Mm. Representatives. Yes. As in people who can follow him, mm. people who has got a faith in him, who has mm. proved something. Mm. So mm. these people in the society mm. should stand as the representative for the people. Mm with a lot of mm. confidence that the people have in him and the leader mm. will will have to emerge. Mm -hmm. You cannot form a leader. Yes. Leader is not the one who takes a jhenda mm. and you know uh, goes into the rally mm. or a political leader. Nothing. No. Yes. That, not that kind of a leader. Yes. A person who can influence you is a leader. Mm -hmm. Who can influence the society. We are lacking a lot of leaders here. Yes. I've seen that. Where any country, any town or any country or any, you know, mm -hmm. out of a state for that matter, mm -hmm. if there are no influential leaders, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about political leaders at all. Yes, Influ it. influencers, mm -hmm. influencers, nothing will change. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's go into this domain of technology and innovation. I think in past 10 to 15 years, this technology and innovation has done a lot to the world. And how did you adopt new technology or innovations to your businesses? No, no, uh, let me uh, mm -hmm. uh, repair it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, innovations though have been happening mm -hmm. from since the human is being born, since the wheel is been introduced, yes. from the automobile is mm -hmm. there. It, these are all innovations. Yes. But for past 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. the uh, pace or the uh, speed has increased. Mm -hmm. Let us understand that. Mm -hmm. Innovations have been happening since also with the human beings, he is mm. evolved. <laughs> also yeah. uh, with whatever he is doing for his own comfort level. Huh. Or, but understand one thing, mm. the uh, yeah, uh, as far as the uh, mm. data mm. and the information mm. and the uh, your uh, knowledge. Uh, knowledge, yeah. knowledge, the knowledge, all of this existed not now, mm. it exists since then yes. and because of these things yeah. mm. we have come to a state where mm. we could increase the pace of our innovation mm. or the uh, mm. research mm. so this has always been happening and this is there at the back end as yes. a history mm. so what I try to, I try to tell people is mm. get more into the history mm. rather mm. than that now coming to us mm. be using it into the day-to-day um, -day activities mm. or um, hotels, it will as it has happened. Mm -hmm. Because that is, again, as I say, it's a chain. Mm. There's someone who is, you know, creating it. Yes. Uh, but understand, mm. even the advertisement, mm. when it came into existence first, yes. in the form of media, mm. it was selling in selling the information. We, we generally don't try to ponder upon that particular mm. point. Advertise was a form of an information, information. was it as a form of a data, it was a kind of a knowledge about that particular product which was bought into the uh, media. Uh, media or yes. media could mm. give it into abundance to everybody. Mm. But every one of us were doing this mm. as it is. Yes. So understand when a baby is growing, the mother teaches it so much. No? Mm -hmm. So true, what is true. that mother doing? Yes. She's sharing the information, information. knowledge, data. Yeah. So that is that process is always there. Mm. But what has happened in this past 15 years, mm. because the data was there mm. existing, mm. it has influenced a lot of lives mm. for its own comfort. True. Mm. So this will never go away anywhere. Yes. This will remain. Yes. But now it is being used in for mm. your mm. own comfort level comfort like in the form of a yeah. mobile mm. so you get the information in your hands today mm. before it was not there you, you you get the pictures you know on the ott platform ott mm. no? yeah ott, OTT, OTT yes. platform before you had to necessarily go to the movie yeah movie theaters so it is coming nearer mm. to you so this process was always there mm. but still we can and we mm. should not forget that this mm. these are the three you know, criteria yes. hmm. which could be used as a tool, tool for us into the business. Yeah. In a very 
formulated in a streamlined manner. Yeah, very, very good explanation. Marketing is important for every aspect of the business, be it to the introduction or to the growth. So what all marketing strategies did you analyze in the beginning and what are the marketing strategies you are going through now? Okay, uh, when we uh, think about marketing, what mm. comes into our mind is like mm. selling a product. Mm. Mm. That's what comes into our mind, no? Like, I need to sell the product right yeah. away, basically. Yes. So this is one type of a marketing. Mm. The other type of a marketing, it, mm. as we spoke a little while ago, mm. consistency. Mm. If your product is good mm. and if you are trying to put it across in a nice way, as mm. it is, the marketing will happen for that particular product. Sure. But I always say that mm. aggressive marketing mm. will happen if the humbleness in that mm. particular product exists and that could be mm. seen easily. Mm. You mm. can't hide it. Mm. Yes. If a product is good, mm. it will necessarily sell. There are products like this, there are these mobiles today. Mm. We can give you the best or the automobile sector. The mm. best of the products are like most most expensive. Mm. It it sells, right? Yeah. Like Mercedes Benz or mm. an Audi or then all these premium cars, mm. uh, the BMW, they are 10 times more expensive than the regular car. True, true. But the kind of a business that they, they do more than the uh, normal. Uh, normal regular cars. Yes. So why does it happen? Market. I mean, uh, market, of course, they are also marketing it. Yes. But when you see one and a half crore car, mm. you just tend to think, right? Mm. Oh, who will buy this? Yeah. That comes into our mind. I mean, I can't afford it. Mm. But how is it that they are doing so much of it? Mm. Kind of units that they sell are like mind-boggling. Yes. yes. Why does it sell? There must be something behind mm. Yeah. There is something. True. True. Correct. So that is how the product, if the product mm. is good, mm. it will as it is sell. And for that, mm. as a manufacturer or as a businessman, you should know mm. your product first. Yeah. If your biryani mm -hmm. is good, you should know that it should be good. Yes. That is when you can sell. That confidence will automatically, this is, it automatically mm. will be seen on your face when you are selling it. True. If there is a client or mm. a guest who comes and sits onto the table and if I have a product called maybe a butter garlic brown preparation or any of the mm. preparation, mm. I have a kind of a confidence mm. inside me mm. because I know that the product is good. Yes. I'll say, please, you know, buy it. You love yeah. it. Yeah. When I'm taking the, uh, what, I mean, um, when you are confident when i am confident yes. i will be able to sell it and it yes. is seen on me and that is how yes. it sells and so it's the process yes basically. and i have seen that confidence in you because uh, last time when we met i came to ask you about the podcast huh. and uh, the amount of concern you were showing to your customers or okay. clients i think i loved that fact ki, because most of the owners won't do that won't get to the customers one handedly so you do that, that's really not great. All, you tell me one thing, mm. why is it that they are not doing it? This is my mm. full-time job. Yes. This is what I have to do. Yes. And where does the question arise? That, that mm. is, num see, that is the problem. We ask, yeah. whatever I am doing or whatever I did the other day, maybe mm. which when you saw me, mm. that is the normal process of the business. Mm. When we are thinking that is an uh, Extra. something extraordinary, it is not. Yes. As the one question that you huh. had put it across to me, hmm. we have to do this. This is the huh. minimalistic thing that could be done in a business. Hmm. Very basic. When a client or a customer comes to you, hmm. spending so much of, if he sell, I mean, if I'm selling this particular hmm. room for one day for maybe 3,500 rupees hmm. or 4,000 rupees, hmm. the hard earned 4,000 rupees hmm. when he's putting into it, hmm. I should see, see to it that he has to go out yes. happily because with that money, I am doing so many other things. Hmm. Hmm. I am paying True. the loan for the business, I am paying the electricity, I am doing, I'm doing a lot of things with it, no? mm -hmm. basically. Yes. And uh, as as of now, you are into multiple businesses. Yeah. How are you managing, like work life and the personal life, how are you managing it? Uh, it's not me alone. I, okay. I just referred to you a long mm. time back when the podcast started. Yes, yes. I am only the front face. Mm -hmm. I have got... Uh, two other cousins of mine mm. and three other uncles of mine who are there mm. when I am here right now I have the mm. liberty of spending time with you for mm. two hours here mm. they are there working yes so that is one um, mm. important criteria that I have I am here I am mm. I am of course doing mm. something right now yes but the, my businesses are running because they are there mm. the kind of support yeah, I am I'm like a, either like a director or an actor Hmm, hmm. In the movie, or maybe an actor, the director, producers, everybody are there yes, behind yes. me. 
I can't give you a better example than yeah. basically. I'm like an actor. You can see hmm. me on the screen. If hmm. you come to Amrut, maybe you'll see me. If you come to hmm. Amrut, hmm. you'll see me. Hmm. But behind me, there are other guys like the directors are there, yes. the producers are there, the cameramen hmm. are there. <laughs> they are there. They are making it happen. Yes. They all are making it happen basically. And uh, right now, as you talked about uh, how the support like cousins or uncles. So, I see that there is a huge impact of a family on you uh, to be what you are today. So, do you think family support comes primarily and it's very important for anything? Shall I, I'll, uh, at hmm. this given uh, question, I will hmm. switch my uh, thought processes from the regular normal business talk to a hmm. little spiritual. Let's, let's do that. Little of it, I mean, yes, yes, yeah, yes. little of it. Yes. These are called as conditions. Hmm. They are like the samskaras that we take. Hmm. It's an adaptation. Hmm. Sometimes you like one particular hero, sometimes you don't like a particular hero, sometimes you mm. like one car, mm. you don't like. That is, everything of that liking and disliking is inside us. True. Mm. Whatever mm. thing that I am giving importance to mm. is subjective. It depends on what I am from within. Yes. If I feel that mm. I the uh, family is important for me, mm. then I will automatically give importance to the family True. Mm. if I feel that I will be able to do something without mm. anybody mm. I will definitely go and try doing it mm. Mm. so the thing is mm. it is a very personal choice mm. if I if I feel that I want to leave everything mm. and from tomorrow uh, mm. get into doing whatever I want to do with whatever mm. little money I have mm. that is my personal choice mm. I might go trekking I might go traveling I might mm. go uh, I might go para sealing I might mm. do this that adventure yes. work out only that and spend my life mm. or if I feel like no baba I am a retired person, hmm. I have to go home, I have to sleep at home, 24, hmm. I will land right out. It's again a personal choice, what can you do to it? Yes. So whatever you think or whatever I think personally hmm. is hmm. what a human being does. Hmm. Of course, for the kind of a setup that is there, hmm. we all have gone together and hmm. as a family values, we have tried to put up our business hmm. as our priority hmm. and we are running it and hmm. it is running so called as successfully because we all are working in it. Mm. If for you, if it is not family and if your equation with your friends are equally good, then might as well it will happen with your friends. If no, if you think that you need some partners, might as well not with your friends, not with your family, with your partners. That's yes. again subjective, mm. very much subjective. But for all of that mm. to run in a very streamlined format, you should have a system, a very, very, very streamlined system. If you have no system, it will not work. Yes. And uh, as you talked about conditioning or the samskara, samskara, it's a very interesting topic to be embedded because all the, all that we do comes from there only. So how important do you think that uh, the conditioning should happen with the young age? How important is it? Uh, very important. Yeah. <clears throat> very important. The mothers, the parents, mm. the parenting system mm. um, uh, does everything to a kid. Yes. Because when a a kid mm. lives in an, I mean, is staying or living in that particular environment. Mm. He tries to adapt what his mm. parent or his mother or the first person whom he meets in the house, mm. basically the influence. She or he is his influencing uh, character. Yes. So the minute you see someone, no, and mm. if he or she behaves, the pattern is understood that it's generally because of mm. his parents most of the times or the person who has influenced him, influenced him first. Yes, that's it. And uh, how much do you worry about the customer experiences, the customer you have? Extreme. Yeah. The worry, I, yeah. the worry is lingering like a sword. <laughs> it is very important. If yeah. customers are everything to you, mm -hmm. it's it's well understood that if uh, we, we we open the business for the day and there are no clients and no customers, what mm -hmm. will happen to you? Yeah. So all these things, you no, know, they revolve around the customers only. Mm. And uh, do you use some different techniques to improve the customer experience? Do you go through uh, feedbacks? All of that do you do? Or is there any other techniques you use? Understand one thing, whatever you, uh, systems that are existing in this hmm. world, India, or country hmm. or this universe, hmm. can I go beyond that? No. So my systems yes. or everybody has got the same system, hmm. 100%. But hmm. as I feel that any business, hmm. whosoever it is, the person who is running the business, who is hmm. representing the business, hmm. must be a humble, the humbleness yes. should be there. Yes. So the humbleness or the simplicity that you have, 
is beyond all the systems and beyond mm. all the technologies that are existing in the world. Mm. Mm. The kind of an connect that I can do to you mm. Mm. is only because of me and not because of the technologies. Yes. The technologies can never put in something. Right. The, even the artificial intelligence cannot put any mm. thing into my brain mm -hmm. to connect you. Yes. If Rahul has to get influenced and impressed by me, it is I who have to influence you. True. I hope you are that question. Yes, yes. I have answered it. I got it. Correct. So basically, there is no secret masala. No, you tell uh -huh. me. You came to me. Hmm. Correct. Yes. If you are telling me, hey Bharat, come here. Hmm. I want to take an interview. <laughs> would, it, would it have it worked? No, no. True. No, it wouldn't. I am getting it. Yes. So how did you connect to me? Hmm. Sir, I, I want to talk to you. Yes. I thought you were coming here for, uh, I do not know. I mean, that uh -huh. more when, when, when you said, uh, you the, put, the way you put it, I felt. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I mean, I should have had been yes. a little bit more. So that came mm. into my mind. So you impressed mm. me at that given point of view. Mm. So similarly, there is no bloody technique in this world mm. for you to... And second, mm. very important. And the most important thing that the God and the nature has given us to is the communication skill. Mm. Which we are goofing it up with. Totally, thoroughly we goof it up. Completely screw it up. Yes. The best the communication, the more the business, the best the comment, the more the uh, impressions, the more the impressions, the more the attributes, yes. the more the attributes, the more the business. So again, yes. that mm. is how it is. And uh, the community of Karwar, the community which is uh, more of a like a chilled, chill back community. Do you, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that impacts to your business personally? Does community impact local community? Uh, impact as in, uh, as in actually, hmm. uh, I keep telling people hmm. that the disadvantages, hmm. there are advantages that are different. If hmm. the disadvantage could be used more or for hmm. an advantage, if hmm. that can be used as an advantage, it hmm. will be better. Mm. So, people sometimes they, you know, our mm. tagline something is like, uh, mm. come experience laziness. Mm. Mm. I, when people call me, you know, they mm. ask me, mm. I, I, I like to talk to communicate. Mm. I mean, I like to communicate, I like to talk yes. to people. Mm. I communicate a lot. Mm. I take mm. the opportunity to literally mm. talk to people because mm. people travel to go and meet people. But when mm. we have a business where people come to us, mm. why leave that opportunity? Yes. Every day I meet interesting people. Mm. And people sometimes they call me, Ki, Bharat, what is there in Karwar? Mm. I say, sir, there is a lot of laziness. <laughs> Please come and experience it. He gets a little excited. Yes. You know? Yeah. So, we have a laziness. Mm. And we can portray this saying that, Ki, come on, you know, mm. come have a look at our laziness. See how uh, healthy people are because <laughs> of laziness. Yeah. And uh, we are talking about communication. I also know that you do a lot of uh, lecture, lecturing, professor. You are a professor, I, I am guess. a guest faculty, yeah. Yes. So, how did that come in? How did no, teaching no, uh, come in? That was because of one huh. uh, Gaukar sir. Okay. Uh, I had two subjects that were backs in hmm. engineering, final, whatever. I mean, in my engineering, hmm. not hmm. final, engineering. Hmm. Uh, for that, hampered my engineering to some extent. Okay. So, when I had already come here, uh, Gaukar sir met me. Hmm. Gaukar sir was the HOD of the mechanical department. Hmm. And automobile, uh, during those times, the siphon was very little. Hmm. Very, very little. And hmm. no engineers would want to come and teach. So the Gaukar sir approached me and he said, Ki, you please come and you start uh, lecturing because only uh, the subject part is not what I want people to or the students to hmm. commun uh, and understand. Uh, I want you to talk to the students about some general thing, hmm. some hmm. general format and all of that. So he asked me to uh, you know, um, talk to the students for the last 15 minutes of the class about all general topics. Mm -hmm. So, if the class was of one hour, he used to always ask me to um, engage the 40 minutes as the subject, subject. and rest 20, remaining 20 uh, with the general. Because people were not even aware about, mm -hmm. they were doing their automobile engineering, mm -hmm. but they were not about, aware about anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Also about the kind of cars that were there, the yes. kind of technology that yes. existed, what kind of uh, Technology would come. I used to talk to them about mm. the hybrid vehicles and mm. the you know biofuel at that yes. time. Jetropa, these, that and all of that. If you make students or people understand mm. things in a very nice way, people understand. Yeah. Moreover, you have been in Karwar for a the time, yeah. a long time. Yeah, a longer period. 
do you think karwar has changed in any way in any way possible karwar always promises <laughs> to change <laughs> there's a lot yeah. of promise that i see in karwar yeah like अशी जातल आहे आणि एक दोन वर्षां पळई तू गारवार का जातल बट बट दॅट प्रॉमिस किप्स दिस टाऊन अ लाईफ और लाईफ गेटिंग इट येस सी अदर दर आर सम अदर आय वुड नेम दम बट दर आर अदर टाऊन विच आर रिलेड डेड बट गारवार इज नॉट डाईंग बिकॉज देर इज होप the spirit is there pala ya jatal pala ittari jatala that is sufficient man yes. you don't need anything mm-hmm. see aaj mak to ni jaga ch come in entire mm-hmm. world wealth if you come and put it into my mm-hmm. kitty mm-hmm. also then i will not be a satisfied human being that's for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. some different problems will start into anybody's life but that hope Hmm. He, yes something will happen something better will happen kitri jatale phale changes atel tomorrow hmm. will be a new day yeah. that is there in karwar yes spirit that, is there that yes. spirit is there and that's why anyone who might talk to no they hmm. say ke yeah we know karwar hmm hmm oh yeah yeah karwar you are from karwar but that does not happen if i say that you know i am from some other place yeah, oh yes, are you yes. from there it does not happen do they oh you from karwar i mean hmm. we have heard that there's a lot so that is enough for us to go बिजनेस ओरिएंटेड बट है very good college okay. um, where i was um, mm. delivering lectures mm. as a guest lecturer there mm. so it was about i think uh, mm. career guidance or something like that okay okay so similar kind of a question was popped up there mm. and uh, what happens is success is subjective again yes. for me uh, if uh, maybe if i read some 10 books in maybe one year's time that mm. i would consider that as a goal for you maybe if you score highest marks in your uh, mm. masters that might be a for another person if he earns you know 10 crore or 20 mm. crore of rupees in his entire lifetime that success is very very, very subjective, subjective. Mm. but let us consider that i am successful let us consider that i am successful mm. according to what i consider it as my success mm. when you are successful mm. most of the times mm. it may have happened to many of the people his own success sometimes comes and stands in front of him mm. as he's a challenger mm. his own internal factors mm. i wouldn't name them mm. external factors there are a ex- lot of external sometimes you are only focusing on the external factors this might be the problem that i would face this might be the problem. but those problems sometimes get hand- they get handled very easily mm. but the internal factors sometimes cannot be solved so yes. that has to be worried upon for that reason to some extent you have to be philosophical and to some extent spiritual you should understand this life is uh, you know nothing much but being happy yes you have to be happy you know most mm. of the times you have to be happy from inside mm. you get this or not for you to reach to that mm. particular thing mm. there is an effort yes. a little of an effort that's the eff- that the effort is here mm. not that you have to run and do a lot of workout mm-hmm. not that effort i'm saying i don't earn no no the effort is inside you yes. so co- contemplating that wisdom mm. emotion mm. you know to so emotion sometimes what happens is you know mm. the emotions overtake the wisdom Hmm. The, the general happens during true, the, true. Uh, the uh, you know, students who are very very young hmm. 18 19 years and they fall in love hmm. and you know they uh, they they take some extreme type steps in life hmm. but they run away sometimes yes. there's, there's a failure uh, the parents are not happy and for the hmm. parents they are torn hmm. they take some uh, what happens at that time nothing happens everybody has got a wisdom hmm. we are all are wise people but the emotions, emotions. they overtake the wisdom yes correct Get so it. once the emotions overtake the wisdom mm. you are you, you fail in that particular thing yes. so for you to keep yourself balanced mm. a little bit of reading mm. a little bit of mingling with people trying to meet people who are much much more less scorer than you are 
और एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी हाई स्कोर देन यू आर सो वंस यू टॉक टू देम देन द लाइफ यू फील की हाँ ओके ओके इट्स बैलेंस सो समटाइम्स यू रियलाइज कि ओ ब्लडी आई कैन प्ले फुटबॉल बेटर देन एनी बडी बट दिस गाय ब्लडी आई गॉट हंड्रेड आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड बट यू कैन प्ले फुटबॉल एज वेल एज आई कैन डू सो देन यू से वाव आई एम बेटर देन यू सो दैट बैलेंस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट I think very very brilliantly you have explained the success. Like it's subjective to every person. It, it is. So my next question would be, what success for you? <laughs> as subjective. I, I, as I want is. to make uh, one lakh crore of money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, now, the day uh, when I will understand that mm. the materialistic life is mm. of no use to you, mm. for me that day will be the best day. today i want yes. everything i want bigger cars i want bigger houses i want lot of money mm-hmm. i i i want to look good i want to do this i want to, that is there in my mind mm-hmm. maybe everyone has it. yeah 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 everyone yes. no matter what whatever yes. it is mm-hmm. basically there's the beauty of the nature yes but the beauty of the nature is this that mm-hmm. it has given you an internal happiness mm-hmm. the minute you try to discover that internal happiness mm-hmm. that ki these things are not important for me that day will be the most successful and Great. it's a, there's a very thin line hmm. between these two, these two things it hmm. generally for you to just jump that hmm. jump that line is not possible hmm. chalo i say let us consider hmm. this is the water hmm. this is a little water here yes basically and i desperately want it huh. and somehow i am wanting to keep it for myself okay. at any given point of time but i know that you also want it ठीक है सो माई ब्रेन विल ऑलवेज बी लाइक हाउ टू कीप इट फॉर माई सेल्फ टू कीप इट फॉर माई सेल्फ टू कीप इट फॉर द मिनट आई से लाइक ओके राहुल टेक दिस आई वॉन्ट दैट इन माई लाइफ सो टेक इट इट्स ओके आई डोंट वॉन्ट इट आई विल गेट इट एंड आई विल बी हैप्पी दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू बी एंड दैट इज फॉर मी विल बी द बेस्ट डे इन माई लाइफ दैट्स अ वेरी डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव टू लुक एट इट इज लाइक दैट बट वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इट इवन आई मे बी understanding it mm-hmm. but i am not able to apply it to me mm-hmm. the minute i apply it i'll be the <laughs> i'll be done yeah <laughs> so as we were talking about businesses here uh, to you are sustainable you are sustainable you are running from so many years what are those sustainability practices you are doing for your businesses to be sustainable uh okay uh discipline is important when i say discipline mm-hmm. i don't say ki सिक्स थर्टी और पाँच बजे का अलार्म लगाओ और उठो एंड यू नो ईट ब्रेकफास्ट एट नाइन ए एम शॉप स्लीप एट सेवन थर्टी यू नो हैव यूर दिस नो नो दैट इज नॉट वॉट आई एम रेफरिंग टू वेन आई से डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन इज वेन आई प्रोमिस अ पर्सन दैट आई विल बी डिलीवरिंग समथिंग टू हिप यू डिलीवर इट टू डो नॉट फेक इट इफ आई टेल हिम दैट ओके बाबा आई वॉट योर प्रोडक्ट दिस इज Ten thousand rupees mm-hmm. that I owe you, mm-hmm. and I will be able to deliver it to you or that uh, to you in this particular period. Mm-hmm. Please do that. That is discipline. Yes. That increases your credibility in the market. Mm-hmm. The confidence of other people on you is very important for you to run a business. They have to believe me, no? Yes. If you don't believe me, hmm. once or twice it's okay. But then hmm. every time, if he does not believe me, then you hmm. will go and tell other people. So that is again, it becomes vicious at that time. So that discipline I am talking about. If there is a customer who is coming or a guest who is coming to this place, if you have promised him that you are giving him a AC, a good bed to sleep, a mountain view room with a TV, this 40 inches TV or 45 inches TV, a clean bathroom, give it to him. not the tv is not working the ac mm. no no don't do that so yes. that is a very basic thing that we have to see to it and for you to maintain that there is a lot of trouble that you have to take yes there a lot of things that happen basically yeah. and uh, networking and partnerships mm. so uh, even though you are you are running as a family the business is you are running as a Correct. family there is a networking and partnership goes on with other people as well yeah so my question to you is how do you select those people because sometimes you put faith in somebody and that doesn't work out correct so how do you put faith in somebody who is completely random or a stranger for this particular question hmm. uh, my answer is hmm. for me for this many years of time hmm. when i keep interacting with people hmm. so often so often i am not simply interacting with them 
subconsciously hmm. i am trying to understand whether hmm. this person for me is a liability hmm. or whether he is an asset hmm. so my brains hmm. and i mean i have trained my brains to hmm. such an extent that 70% of the time i don't fail in this hmm. when i'm hmm. kind of judging a person and that comes to you over a period of time or so called as an experience, experience. till you get that kind of a experience hmm. i suggest that that particular person hmm. has to be under someone for dependency i mean hmm. he, he can be dependent hmm. it could be his parent it could be his uncle it could hmm. be his uh, senior manager hmm. or anybody hmm. Hmm. so once he understand that it is not a rocket science hmm. it is a simple psychology see most of the times you travel to some of the countries where you don't even uh, understand the language of that country hmm. but still you communicate with them Yes. Correct. Why does it happen? Body language, Body language. the way yes. that they yes. you understand. You can distinguish between a few people who are you know not very healthy for you or you know hmm. for you yes. and few people who could be your and friends. Yes. That much of uh, hmm. whatever is been given to us by the hmm. mother nature. Yes. So that has to be improvised. Hmm. It has to be. It is a. It is constantly understood. Hmm. Hmm. So that is when you. can judge someone judge a, judge a person or judge a people basically yes. and that is very 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 important mm. uh, quality that a businessman should have yeah and as i said mm. as i put it across till that particular time he has to be you know be dependent on someone hmm his parent or a person is already running a business for some time mm. so till he understand the cycle again you know every business has got is very different uh, clientele yeah. very different kind of an atmosphere very mm. different kind of an factor so once you are into it when you start reading mm. the body language mm. the psychology mm. then you are through and we talked about partnering we talked about the system we talked about all of this now if you uh, consider me as a so in this process huh. again there are some businesses where you continuously need part business partners hmm. they are very big huge businesses some businesses need um, you know a continuous finances you know big big finances and all hmm. of that hmm. so for these things you know partnering is important you alone hmm. can can probably not do, not do. Yeah. so it's important for you to select so if the selection is wrong hmm. you are gone let's assume you go back in time and you are 18 again ha huh. and you will restart your life in business again once again would you choose the same path no uh, if i am to uh, still get back into my uh, hmm. uh, after the schooling whatever i mean i'm, I'm hmm. getting what you are trying to ask me i would want i would probably hmm. my wish is i would get into the literature i would have had gone hmm. into the hmm. literature hmm. Uh, do a course like ba hmm. and then ma hmm. and a phd in a similar kind of an maybe literature or history mm. and i would would want to become a uh, teacher yeah yeah that is what i would you enjoy teaching i would have had you know i would have had enjoyed basically nice. that is what i sometimes feel that's mm. the reason i i i why I, i studied the, mm. the the ma literature later on mm mm-hmm. so as consider me as somebody who is asking you a suggestion if i am going to be in karwar for rest of my life and i want to be sustainable and stable here what's the what's that business which i should step into i think uh, there are career guidance is, i mean career guidance hmm. uh, is lacking in karwar um, hmm. Hmm. or maybe some kind of a training institute uh, students are like uh, distorted in a way they are not getting any kind of an uh, um, uh, guidance as such. so i always felt that uh, someone should uh, come up with a unique idea where you can at least channelize the uh, 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 students towards uh, some people whom they can get a correct suggestion in life so that is not that career guidance consultation career, career guidance, guidance i would put it as more than consultation i would put it as career, career guidance, guidance basically yes. that is important hmm. uh, uh, most of the times you no know, parents are uh, influenced by something else because their environment is different hmm. they want to see their child. their children to become what they want to become because mm. we are born with different skills everybody has got a skill you have something i have or he has got something he has got something every one of us is born with a different skill format if at the right time if someone can locate that skill from him and at least try to put it across to him maybe not today 
not tomorrow maybe 10 years down the line you will realize ki mm. yes this is what i can do mm. singing music few people are born with a body which is only meant for sports mm. and they end up becoming software engineers who sit down you know in the house and do this computering mm-hmm. computering thing and all of that mm. how sad is that yes yes you know if you see a structure body structure mm. Uh, he can become a foot- footballer and he has mm. that energy mm-hmm. the god has given him sorry in 24 hours he can play mm-hmm. but the sad part is <laughs> we put him would mm-hmm. him to do some kind yes. of an engineering yeah. <laughs> where he really don't want to do <laughs> and then you know that is all. so yeah. career guidance strong powerful career guidance mm. uh, institute is, is what required you yeah. if anyone can do it it will be mm. good So, after all this business talk, let's get into something which is casual and uh, slow down. Yeah. Let's get into rapid fire round. Okay. I'll ask you some questions. Just one word or one sentence answer if you could. Uh, let's start. Let's. Your favorite spot in Karwar? Uh, I like to uh, roam around uh, in the main town. Uh, generally during the festival, uh, mm-hmm. Ganesh Chaturthi, uh, then again uh, Holi, mm-hmm. during Holi and during the Ripolita. This main road, no? Mm-hmm. They take me to the, uh, nost- it's a nostalgia for me. Okay. So I generally love the town part of it. A book you recommend? I mean, I always recommend Alchemist. Yeah. I always recommend Alchemist. It's must, must, must. Yeah. There are a lot of elements into it. Just say once, that's your camera. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, please do that. Uh, <laughs> yes. Try to... Forcibly read it. Yeah. <laughs> and one word to describe your entrepreneurial journey. Beautiful. Your biggest inspiration? Vitral Kamath sir actually. And I generally get inspired uh, with people who have a very strong fundamental knowledge about mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. It could be anything. About life, business, anything. Because ultimately the fundamental knowledge or the basic knowledge mm-hmm. is everything for anyone. So any person, because they look different to me. They, wear, they look very different and they are very simple. Mm. When I say simple, it does not mean that he has to wear a very simple kurta, girta. That mm. is not simple. When you, He may be wearing the most expensive mm. clothes or the most expensive whatever outfit. But Simplicity. being simple from within is a di- different criteria altogether. Your favorite cousin? <laughs> <laughs> Now I am putting you to your spotlight. <laughs> I am everybody's favorite cousin. Wow, that, that's a great way to put it. You are a morning person or a night owl? I I am not at all a morning person. Not at all a morning person. Mm-hmm. I am I love uh, mm-hmm. the uh, nights. I love the darkness of the night. They they, they teach you a lot. A hobby you enjoy? Um, I uh, used to be playing a lot of lawn tennis mm-hmm. and. Uh, Even today, um, if I generally, this, it's called as wall practice, mm. basically. And uh, um, now I switched over my hobby from uh, lawn tennis to singing. I love to sing and mm. get connected to the emotions of that song. Basically. Okay. That I do it for myself. The best piece of advice you have received? Oh, try to be humble and simple because uh, being simple is uh, the most difficult thing that can happen to anybody. Your go-to relaxation activity? I like to sleep, love sleep. to sleep. Uh, when you ask me to sleep, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> a skill which you wish to learn now, a skill? I would, uh, I mean, I, I like a little, my, my, I, whatever said and done, I've got an inclination towards uh, uh, mechanics or auto, automotives mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. like that. I like to, uh, believe me, mm-hmm. I like to, you, you'll find it funny, but mm-hmm. I like to remove the mm-hmm. Dents that are on the automobile uh, panels. Mm-hmm. It's called as paintless dent removal. Okay. PDR. Okay. You don't have to damage the. Uh, if there are some small dents that fall on the car. Yeah. You know, there are some. Uh, there is a particular way of removing the dents without even repainting it. I would really want to learn it. Okay. If there is a course which is there, okay. you know, anybody, if, if the, I will definitely would want to. I, 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 I like to do that, denting and tinkering and all of that. That's one thing that I would do. Really the most reward, rewarding part of your job? The most rewarding, pe- meeting people, Meet. a, a getting, uh, you know, a, a, to know them, uh, uh, then the kind of a connect, the being friends with them mm. and the blessings that they give me. It looks a little personal, but mm. that is what makes you... Mm. You go. You yes. personally, yeah? yes. not the business I am talking yes. about. Yes, yes. 
a destination you want to visit i i'm a mountain and a river uh, person i love mountains and river mm. i i i am happy with uh, but and then with lot of people around and lot of laugh and laughter mm. and uh, calmness around a favorite business tool or a app uh, let me put this uh, answer in a very different way okay. you yourself are an entire business app and into mm. the way you want to utilize yourself you can do it mm. Mm. that's it that's the answer <laughs> great great the first thing you do in the morning yawn yawn <laughs> <laughs> that's great an uh, entrepreneur you admire i actually am a very uh, in a way you know mm-hmm. the, uh, ratan tata is mm-hmm. i mean i see ratan tata is a very very uh, i don't know i mean i i connect to him that's again my personal choice I directly connect to him this next one must be your favorite one a memorable customer interaction or uh, sometimes what happens is uh, you are uh, sometimes you are little disoriented at times when you are in the business and uh, all of a sudden uh, uh, there is someone who is there sitting and mm. he is a very renowned personality mm. it has happened to many times and okay. uh, you because of the disorientation you don't really in the first place yeah. you don't interact with him yeah. but for some reason you interact with him and you get to know that he is uh, someone who is a recognizable personality and that turns your uh, mm. brain of whatever the feel of that particular moment from what it is to entire like turn table mm-hmm. or a paradigm change that is the best feeling that have, have you met somebody many, in that many, many 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 okay. many many okay. many and i write it down you know and then and i'm like are you him uh-huh. like yes <laughs> your favorite way to unwind after a long day i like to work out a little mm-hmm. the cardio and most of the times when i do a lot of cardio maybe running and all it really um, rewinds me to and fullest mm-hmm. um, and i don't have a time for it uh, it could be late in the nights it could be in the morning sometime mm-hmm. it could be in the evenings whenever it is mm-hmm. i like to do a lot of cardio what's next in your bucket list uh, to try to be uh, i mean i i put it across a little bit i'm i'm just trying to uh, Uh, recognize what really mm-hmm. is needed for me in my life uh, again i'm mean, literally getting a little philosophical yeah, yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. but see there are so many things which are with you mm-hmm. which is really not needed mm-hmm. as i put it i mean i think i just put it a little while yes, yes. it's just that 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 is my uh, goal now mm-hmm. try to figuring it out slowly disconnect from what is really not required mm-hmm. and the the not required thing which generally trouble you we generally can't locate or identify that yeah. are you getting it yes, there are yes. few things in your life which you don't need it mm-hmm. but that is what is troubling you you are not able to identify it the minute you identify it you are not able to let it go mm-hmm. so the coming to a state where i will try to let it go yeah. that With is important. that great thought let's come to an end of this conversation yeah, that's so and uh, i wish i had more time because <laughs> you are such a comfortable talker you say you are 40 40 i'm 47 yeah 47 but i never felt in this whole conversation that i'm talking to somebody who is older than me because you come to an level where i am right now and you talk in that level thank you so much for doing that no, it's a pleasure but uh, mm-hmm. when you are uh, i mean you all as an youngsters mm-hmm. what has to be done is uh, try to imbibe happiness most of the times try to uh, get into some activities which make you happy and that uh, it could be anything it could be anything so that is when uh, you are happy jovial that that can happen to everybody mm-hmm. so try to stick stick to that one thing you know which can make you yes. happy and we generally don't do that most of the time if that happens maybe or not because uh, as a human being we are very a complex mm. structure complex being to very very mm. complex mm. we cannot uh, simply judge uh, a human being just like that yes there are, there are so many things like mm. uh, theories which do not fit into you most of the time So and then you get try getting inclined towards those uh, theories most of the time, mm-hmm. and that is when you try getting out, searching for mm-hmm. bigger you know philosophies in life. Yes. Correct. 
at the end if you have anything uh, to address our audience that's your camera you can address anything you want yeah i what i would uh, try to tell you is like again i am repeating the point believe us that we are here not to uh, popularize ourselves or not to advertise ourselves what i feel is like we need more people who are good in their field people who can uh, educate more people so that the environment that we live in or the next generation is a happier generation for a generation to be happy you need appreciation you need a lot of things that has to be put it on them in a very nice way uh, so please uh, try and understand all the points uh, in a very um, articulate manner uh, we have tried to put it in an articulate manner now which you are uh, um, trying to understand it in an articulate manner and uh, critically analyze us and if you feel that uh, there are any more questions that have to be asked or if you all need to reach out to us rahul is here the channel is always here please reach out to them and we will be the happiest people to get back to you yes thank you so thank much. you sir